What's going on everybody? Hope everyone's having a uh, good winter so far. It's getting pretty cold everywhere. Um, I'm in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina right now. It's currently 42 I think is what it said. Uh, I came from the north. It was in the 20s. I saw, uh, saw a lot of snow and ice and all that good stuff. So I'm glad to be here. It's pretty much summertime compared to what it is up north right now. Uh, anyway, the point of this video is uh, to give you a little bit of a tour on an explanation of some of the parts of a trailer. Um, it's arguably the most important part aside from the truck itself, which gets you there. Uh, the uh, trailer is what holds everything. So I just wanted to uh, show you around, so show you some of the parts of it, and uh, hopefully uh, if you do have any more questions on the trailer, just write them down in the, the comment section below there. But yeah, so I mean this is the uh, beautiful trailer itself. Um, this one currently is out of date. I'm getting a PM service on it. So this is the service sticker for night when you pick them up. You get um, a uh, the PM service, preventative, preventative maintenance service. So this was due last month. This trailer, I actually, was, it was a recovery mission I did for another warehouse that had been stored there, uh, kind of in the back and in the way. Uh, I'd been there for a while, so, uh, you know, can't really blame the person for that. And then you have a federal inspection once a year. Um, so that was... Uh, that's when that one's due uh, next year there. Uh, I'm going to use the trailer next to me here really quick. This is a loaded trailer somebody just dropped, but uh, I'm going to be able to show you a couple parts on this that are unhooked um, compared to mine there. So showing you things like underneath here, we have the kingpin. So that little piece right there essentially is what hooks this entire trailer up to the truck close up here it's all greased up and everything you can see it sorry about the lighting I know the lighting's pretty bad oops Let's see if I can get it brightened up there a little bit here we go so you can see all the grease there but essentially that little bit right there that's the uh, shaft right there that's where the kingpin lock goes around come on light and then this is the underneath here so you can see up here this is where the uh, fifth wheel sits and when you're turning all that grease kind of goes around and stuff and there's a look down the trailer there this is your landing gear your tandems are back here and then these are all your cross beams go all the way down there the high beams that support it this is the headboard or bulkhead of the trailer and then this is where your airlines hook up to you'll see there's a, a, several different um, uh, styles. Mine actually is different. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, this is a very simple one straight to it right here. Uh, but your service line and your emergency line go here and then this flips up. This is where your electrical goes. And on all of these there's a little, on the electrical there's a little uh, stopper right there. I'll show you that on the uh, lines over here. Doo -doo. So the, of course the lines themselves they hook up to the truck here. Get on top of here and there that's where my um, airlines go in and then my electrical is oops there and they hook up I'm gonna show you these this is a different style here you can tell this has the spring and keeps it out keeps tension on the line uh, but they hook up these are called glad hands it's hard to do it on the end. Um, so you can see this is the connection itself here and then this is the part that goes to my truck they have a rubber gasket on there you have to always check those make sure that they're not cracked dry rotted all that good stuff um, but this is how it hooks up to hook it up I'm sorry I hooked this got this all twisted up here this is really hard to do to <laughs> hook it up uh, these are both rusted uh, you put it at about a 50 or a, a line them up right like that about a 90 degree angle to one another and then you pull down again this is really hard to do <laughs> all right so that's not even so i'll have to adjust that in just a few minutes but having the camera here <laughs> kind of makes it a little bit difficult so anyway so you get the point though so they they go on like that and then they turn in and then here's that little notch i was telling you about it rests on this so it keeps it in there so i can't pull this out until i lift this up it's a safety lock so now it can just come out and then that's what it looks like this one's a lot easier to do all right so that's that um, these you'll see on a lot of our trailers 
Uh, some other companies have them too, but this is where we'll put our bills. Um, so when we if we do a drop for relay, if we drop this trailer and then um, another driver is going to take it the rest of the way, like this trailer for example, this should have bills in it. Yep. So they put all the information for what's in the trailer. Uh, they put it in there so the next driver can access it. Um, it keeps it, um, for the most part, weatherproof in, in there and whatnot. So it doesn't damage the papers. Mine just has a information on a service that it did. This trailer has auto inflate tires. So let me go back here real quick and show you that. And we'll talk about this in a few minutes. But whenever you see these hoses, they have auto inflate tires. Um, so there is a... Uh, there is a system in here, underneath here in the tandems, that will keep the tires at 100 PSI. Um, I think these ones usually keep around 100 PSI. Um, my tr my uh, tractor tires are at 110 PSI, but the trailer ones typically keep them at 100 PSI and it keeps it all the time. Um, so uh, what happens is if you do have a problem, if there's a leak in one of those tires and it's constantly pumping air, this little light will turn on. So while you're driving, this big bright white light will shine and you'll see that <laughs> also it's really cold outside <laughs> so if i start shaking forgive me but uh yeah so this will actually turn on um and you'll see it's so anytime you see a, a trailer going down the road with one of the, these lights on and the refrigerated uh trailers i don't have one right here they've got another kind of light so that's a, a good light in their instance usually but for these for these dry van trailers with no uh reefer units on there um you'll see this light on it's a bad thing it means it's probably got a leak in the system somewhere um, but yeah so this is the side of the trailer this is our DOT reflective tape it's got to be more than 90% secure all the way down this is our uh, side light I guess I could turn the lights on ah screw it there it is. this is a um, if we're hauling hazmat which I don't do most people don't but this is our some of our built-in placards here but you get the idea on that but we don't a lot of us don't really haul hazmat so those usually stay closed these are the tandems so you've got four wheels here you got four wheels on the other side obviously um, the tandems actually slide to adjust the weight. So if you want to, um, depending on how the trailer's loaded, how much weight is in there, you can actually adjust the uh, positioning of the weight to where it's on the front and the back by these wheels. So this little guy right here, you pick it up, you pull it out. And what that does, these aren't greased very well so it doesn't but these little pins right here will actually pop inside if I went in the truck and, and drove the truck backwards or forward a little bit it would it would wiggle out but um get here and that. But anyway those that there's one there and then there's one back here and then on the other side as well and what those do is um they'll pop in you keep the brakes on the tandems here go back a little bit uh, you keep your your brakes uh, set on your tandems here you release them on your tractor and if you drive forward or drive backwards the entire trailer will go but these wheels will stay so they'll actually slide forwards and backwards and that's how you adjust the weight um, you'll hear the bridge laws uh, Florida for example 41 feet um, to the center of the tandem so 41 feet from here to the kingpin over there and then in california that's the strictest one it's 40 feet to the center of the rear axle you can see this is the rear axle here this would have to be 40 feet no more than 40 feet from here to the kingpin which is three feet back so how do you do that is you measure i'll just say we're going to california you start here that your measuring tape you go 10 feet and at 10 feet you should be to that and that's if you're going to California. So that's the bridge lock there. 41 feet. Or um <laughs> uh uh you can see somebody etched in you kind of see here 40 to there. A lot of trailers will have it marked. Uh 40 it's um nine feet to the center here if you're going to Florida. So you still have a lot of room back here. But yeah so that's that um so that's I'll give you another video 
some other time on the moving of the tandems and how to hook up the trailer. That'll be the next video. Um, I'll, I'll try to do that so you can see uh, kind of how we hook up into it and we slam into them and all that good stuff there. But this is just more on the, the parts on it. So we have an ABS indicator light. Um, if the ABS brakes are malfunctioning, this light will turn on and we have to get it serviced, blah, 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 as soon as possible. Um, we also have a, um, we also have a, uh, was so right back here. We also have a indicator on our dash as well. It'll be a trailer symbol with ABS and, and all that stuff. We'll see that. These trailers, when they sit around for a while, sometimes they'll uh, pop on and then it will, um, it will go away after driving for a minute or so. Here's more of the placards for hazmat. This one's a little damaged. Um, so same thing, corrosive, flammable, blah, blah, blah all that stuff. Uh, but this is the back of the trailer. So these are the best ones. They only have um, three of the uh, uh, door shafts back here. Some of them will have a fourth. But essentially, you flip this over, turning this, turns that lock, and then there's one at the top up there. This is what the inside of the trailer looks like. It's gonna be dark. So much light difference. But this is what the inside of the trailer looks like. Pretty basic. We have wood floors here. You'll see sometimes the, uh, look at a nice echo. You'll see sometimes there will be some uh, nails from pallets and whatnot stuck in there by accident. Uh, depending on what kind of load you're picking up, a lot of times you have to sweep it out, make sure it's food grade uh, ready and all that stuff. Uh, this one's kind of dusty, you can see some trash here and there, pieces of wood, all that stuff. And then this right door always opens before this door, and this door is it's reversed then, so then this door always has to close before this door. And so these are kind of the same thing. You open up. So we do have one here. You have to open up one, then the other, then the other. Yeah. This is kind of hard to do. We're gonna skip that. Sometimes they get stuck. This one has a little bit of a, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of a bend to it. So doing it one-handed is also kind of hard. All right, so yeah, to lock it, you just make sure that they're lined up in there. Turn it in. Boom. These are your bumpers when you're backing up to a dock. Well, I don't know why it's so blurry. When you're backing up to a dock, you got a little step there. If you need to go up into the trailer, a little handle. And then pretty much everything that's on the other side is going to be on this side. Um, we've got mud flaps. I just had to put a mud flap on my last trailer yesterday. All you do is you, uh, you take off these four screws. This plate right here pops off. And obviously the, the, the mud flap pops off if there's pieces of it left. Like my last one only had like a couple pieces. You take those off, you put the new mud flap on, there's four holes in that. You put the screws, or you put the bracket on, the screws in, and then boom, pretty straightforward. That's why you always carry tools. We've got more of your tires here. I don't know why it's not focusing. That's pretty much it. Knight has the uh, these trailer wings on the side here for aerodynamics. Oh, you know what? I skipped over the, the uh, landing gear. Let's look at that real quick. We go to the other side. Here's my old truck. Old Dirty International. Go back to the dark side. All right, so this is how you do the landing gear. So there's several styles of uh, landing gear jacks. Uh, this is one style, obviously. So it pops out of its little hole there. This goes up into here. And there's two speeds. So when you're going like this, that's a really slow speed. It's not going to do a whole lot. It's going to go down very slowly. You can pop it in and out Oops. like that. So this is the fast gear. You can see it goes down much faster. Um, 
and up much faster. If there's a lot of weight on it, if you need to adjust it, so if you, let's just say you pick it up um, and it's too high to get into your, uh, actually even better option would be too low to get into your fifth wheel, you go into the uh, low gear, it takes a lot more revolutions, but you're able to jack up this trailer um, when it's loaded and so forth. So that's the uh, deal with that. And then it just nests in there nicely. And then we also have these tubes. You'll see these tubes uh, next to the uh, jack handle here. Uh, this is where they, this just a little pop and pops off here. And that's where we keep our registration. You'll see some other forms in there sometimes. But yeah, that's where the registration's kept. And then pretty much that's it. You can see it connected to the uh, fifth wheel here. Beautiful, nice and dirty. The, uh, you don't want any space between the uh, bottom of the trailer here, the skid plate, and then uh, the fifth wheel. You don't want any gap. You don't want to see any daylight between there, so that's a good one. Um, if you do, you obviously need to lower the trailer. Sometimes it just lowers right back in there, or you need to rehook it because um, it's not safe. Oh, and then I can go in here too and show you. <sighs> Crawl underneath here. And you can see the um, that little bar right there. That's essentially the nuts and bolts of everything. That is that little tiny bar is what goes around the um, the uh, shaft on the fifth on the uh, kingpin rather, and uh, that's what locks it in place. There, the locking jaw. That's what keeps it in there. And then this handle. If you pull that, I thankfully can do it from my cab by the push of a button. But that handle will pop out popping that handle out opens up that and then you're free to disconnect the trailer so yeah that's it uh, let me know what you guys think hopefully you liked it you learned something if you're not uh, big on trucking or getting into trucking I know when I uh, before I started I had a lot of questions there's a lot of things I wanted to uh, you know to learn and and to understand and there wasn't a whole lot of resources out there so hopefully these little basic videos will uh, I give you an idea on uh, some stuff and see if, if you're uh, willing to go into it. If you are interested in night, don't forget to use my code. Uh, you benefit, I benef benefit from it. Excuse me, I'm burping. Two um, G I C H R. Uh, that's my code. Uh, send that to the either the recruiters when you talk to them, or just shout out to me. Um, my email is ctgiblin at gmail.com. That's G I B L I N. Um, and I can arrange for everything to be done for you, so I don't have to do anything. They can reach out to you and talk to you and all that good stuff. Um, I, I just got a, uh, a driver I was talking to who, is, uh, who works for Swift who wants to come over tonight. He's now set up. It, it took him no effort at all. Um, they got him all the information before they even talked to him. I knew what he wanted to do. He told me so. Uh, they got everything ready beforehand. And uh, yeah, shout it out to him. So if you guys are interested in either driving and you are an experienced driver or you want to go into the CDL school, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, there's a lot of lot of bad information out there, wrong information. Uh, I don't know why it's so hard. It's very straightforward uh, to get all the stuff um, together for you. I can send it out your way. Uh, just let me know if you have any questions. It is really cold out here, so I'm gonna end the video now. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.